Hey guys, Buffy Game Back bringing another video today for our Weapon Convergence series and our Blueprint series. Today we're going to be covering the Ronin Operator Bundle as well as the Soul 4 Wanderer Blueprint for the M4, turning it into a Salient Armaments Great Rifle as well as very similar to the LVOA C, which we've covered before here in the past from Warsport Industries. So it's a kind of a combination with the handguard, not quite exactly 100% match for each, which we see a lot of the rifles. We also have the new operator and some new equipment in game. So let's go ahead and jump right in and show you how to build this. We'll look at the operator Ronin for the Lone Dragon skin, and I'll get in the game, show you how this handles with the recoil as well as in game against bots. So here you see our final design for the Soul 4 Wanderer blueprint. And now I'll put the bundle here on screen. So the Ronin operator bundle was released today in store for 2,400 COD points. And what that came with was the lone dragon skin for as well as the operator for ronin which is based on the real life operator tulam who had a 22 year run as a special operator in the green berets and now he has his own website ronin tactical so i'll go ahead and link that down below in case you guys are interested in checking that out we also have the soulful wanderer assault rifle blueprint which again is very similar to the lvoac which we covered in the past very similar to some of the other blueprints which we've seen with the zip tie as well as what used to be on the XRK barrel. And it also represents very closely to the Salient Arms Gray Rifle as well. So then we also have the Peace and Tranquility Handgun for the X-16. We have the No Masters Melee, which is a nice hatchet. We have the Operator Equip Don't Fear Death. The new Operator Finishing Move Slice and Dice for Ronin. We also have the Emblem Blood and Thunder. A really nice looking calling card through the mist deep wound sticker as well as the rally cry spray so jumping right back anyway here again that's available for 2400 cod points we see our final design here for the soul for wanderer so first off what i'm going to do is just back out we're going to go ahead and look at the operator ronin so if i go ahead and select him he is my primary operator and now hopeful wanderer blueprint equipped on him so if we just look overall really really nice looking operator uh, the detail on this is amazing and you can see he's got the same symbols if you go check out his website the same ronin type symbols with the dragons and what he uses on his website is on his shirt his hat and again he's got really nice looking rig you can see the detail if we just zoom in just take a minute and appreciate the detail in his face the tactical rig play carrier the magazines there again very very nice detail he's got ronin on his left shoulder there his blood type on the back as well as we said the symbols the tattoo Tactical rig and everything very nice. And then, of course, we have the rifle. So go ahead and back out, and we'll go back to our kit that we have set up here. So here we have the blueprint, the final design for the blueprint. So what I'll do is we'll just strip it down. So here's what it looks like at base as an M4, just utilizing the, the blueprint. So we'll just build this from scratch. Uh, again, the only cosmetic changes are going to be the barrel and the stock. So if I build this from scratch, the blueprint itself didn't come with a muzzle. The barrel is going to cosmetically change the 14 and a half tack light barrel to the LVOA C handguard as well as something very similar to it could be either or it's more closely resembling the Salient Arms gray rifle but again not 100% match but again this is going to assist with the ADS speed as well as the cons of being bullet velocity. Now the laser it has a tack laser on this and you, you see the pros and cons being ADS speed, aiming stability, aim walking steadiness. The con is that the laser is only visible when you're ADSing but you can see there the tack laser on this particular blueprint changes to a black laser versus the tan slash uh, the same matching color that we see on the butt stock here for the salt mod stock. So it changed it from the tan color to the black tack laser. Now for the optic, the blueprint comes with the, let's see where it is, the PBX hollow sight. So again, this is just another American holographic sight, not a Neotech, but this is a precision sight picture. The cons be ADS speed as you're going to get with every sight. No real cosmetic changes to the optic that I can tell. Now the stock, we're going to go ahead and do the Force Tech CQS, and this is going to change that Force Tech CQS to a standard M4. We see there with the adjustable butt stock that we also saw in the Task Force Blueprint. That's going to assist with the ADS speed as well as the cons being aiming stability. Now no perk or rear grip on the Blueprint as well as the ammunition. We can see the standard PMAG on there from Magpul. So again, that's another cosmetic change to the weapon as well as you see the cosmetic differences on the pistol grip as well. Now the underbarrel of the blueprint again comes with the operator foregrip that's going to assist with the recoil control as well as the aim down sight speed is going to be your con there. So there is our final design for the Soulful Wanderer or the LVOAC or the Salient Arms Gray rifle. Again, it's the handguard is more closely resembling the Salient Arms Gray, but again, not 100% match and we don't have a jailbreak muzzle device on the weapon as well for any of the attachments. But you can see 
The changes, it comes with that woodland camo, that really nice, unique woodland camo at base. We have the different color to the pistol grip. The We have a different PMAG on the base magazine. So the, typically we got the Magpul windowed PMAG. This is just a standard Magpul PMAG. We have the operator foregrip there again, which has the same camouflage applied to it. And then we have the tack laser, which changes from a tan color to the black color. And I believe the PBX, I want to say, is typically a different color, but here we have it as black. So correct me if I'm wrong there. We have duct tape or black electrical tape along the top, as well as the rail guards on the side on the quad rails on the back and on the left and right side there. So again, this is the LVOAC or the Salem Arms Gray Rifle. So if we back out really quick, we'll look at the pistol that comes with this also. So this is the Peace and Tranquility for the Glock or the X-16. You can see the attachments on this very nice looking weapon. It just comes with the Syngard Arms Featherweight for the ADS speed and the bullet velocity. And then it comes with the sleight of hand rubberized grip tape that's going to assist the recoil control, the combi, and aim and stability. We also have a 17 round magazine on the weapon to increase the magazine capacity, the cons here, the ADS speed, as well as the movement speed. And then we have that lightweight trigger for a faster fire rate, as well as the aim and stability will take a hit there. But this is actually very similar to, I was looking on the Ronin Tactical website again, which I'll link down below. And this blueprint for the pistol is actually very similar to on his website. There's an agencyarms.com where you get some discounts and very similar to some of the Glock builds that they have there. Again, just different uh, different builds of Glocks. It looks exactly like one that Ronan has, or excuse me, Tulam has on his website. So go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the website down below. So that is our blueprint designs for the Sofa Wanderer and the Peace and Tranquility for the M4 as part of the Ronin Operator Bundle available in shop for 2400 COD points as of today. So let's go ahead, jump in game. I'll show you the recoil control on this weapon. We'll look at the iron sights on there because I know a lot of you guys want to see that as well as we'll check out how it handles in game against bots. And just so for you guys wondering what the camouflage looks like on this, you can see it's going to apply the exact same that the base camo is applied to on this, except it's going to cover the pistol grip. It won't cover the foregrip. So you can see how these other woodland camos look compared to what we have at base. But again, we have that standard M4 adjustable buttstock and some of the other attachments that we went over here. So this is going to be very similar really quickly if I go to my other blueprints. It's going to be very similar to what we used to have on the XRK. We used to have that barrel. There was a glitch before Season 1. You can see the same barrel in the zip tie blueprint as well as the same magazine. So a very similar blueprint there just minus the buttstock. And then I also created one here. We had our, I was doing a cosmetic change for a TX-15 DML, as well as the LVOAC, which I have videos on in the past. So very similar uh, blueprints to those. Now, really quick for Warzone, I utilize, if you guys are wondering how to utilize this in Warzone, the only changes I make to this in Warzone that I use today to get a nice win, I go ahead and throw, let me strip this down quick, throw a mono on there. For the barrel, I'm gonna do the same 14 and a half inch. Gonna skip out on the laser. I was utilizing a four times flip or you can do the integral hybrid for that Leopold hammer. Since I want to give and take some attachments for Warzone, I'm going to leave the salt mod buttstock on the weapon. I'm going to use the 60 round magazine and then I'm going to actually switch to a range of foregrip. So this is my, currently this is my Warzone build of this blueprint that I used today. we got a nice quad win with this thing and you can see just overall very beautiful. So now let's go ahead and strip this down. We will reselect our actual blue room for the Silver Wonder. Let's go ahead and get a game. Check out the recoil on this weapon and see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now we're in game with our Sofa Wanderer blueprint for the LVOAC or the Salient Arms Gray Rifle. Let's check out the recoil control. Just gonna let this rip and not control it. So again, same blue or the same recoil pattern as the standard M4. Let's control it this time. Try it again. And we'll fire off one more here. So you have that initial kick and then you're able to really stabilize it pretty well. You can see here, these are all center mass shots on pretty much every spray. So we have the base recoil controlling with a little, really depending on how you control. And then here's my best one right here, pretty tight. If you can control it better, it's really gonna kick vertical. So you just need to adjust slightly. Let's take a look at the iron sights on this weapon. So here's the iron sights on this weapon. You can see they're the same as the XRK and some of the other blueprints, I believe. Nice open iron sights on the weapon. So if you want to utilize other attachments, we definitely have a nice precision sight picture with this standard iron sights on this gun. 
And again, you can see the recoil control there. Overall, very nice looking weapon. So you can see just the reload animation. And then if we're not, hit, don't have an empty mag, we don't hit the uh, charging handle, the cocking handle there on the left hand side. Very good. So let's go ahead and jump in game now and see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our blueprints as part of the Ronin Operator Bundle, we have the Peace of Tranquility Pistol, as well as the Sofa Wanderer Blueprint for the Ronin Tactical Bundle. Now again, in real life, this is, so first off, let me just say, this is hands down my favorite bundle in store right now and in the game thus far. This bundle is based off of all real world stuff. The Ronin Operator is the real world operator Tulam, who is a Vietnamese... Comes initially from Vietnam, I believe he's a Vietnamese refugee initially, and he, here we go, where are these guys at? So he did 23 years in the Special Forces Green Berets, and he is an absolute unit in real life, so he's based on a real person, a real life operator. This weapon that we have here for the M4 is his real life build for his M4 that he uses, again, very similar to a LVOAC or a Salient Arms Gray Handguard on the weapon. This is his real-life weapon build. I'll go ahead and link that video down below where he goes over some different uh, setups for this build. But again, this is an exact match as well as with the pistol. Again, I'll link those all on the website. You can find this stuff. But an exact match to his real-life weapons that he uses, which I think is just awesome. And this is hands down my favorite blooper bottle. So the reason is, we talked about this with the Milsim uh, video we talked about the other day where Taylor Kurosaki said that obviously they added the milsim operators to the default operators and that they were going to be adding more milsim operators and equipment going forward. So this milsim operator obviously being Ronin and again all real life equipment. The weapon again is a milsim weapon so I did tweet at him uh, the other week just confirming will we see milsim weapons added to these bundles as well and this is the first indication oh my god he's got dragon breath for a yes is that he did like and reply to that so here we have a actual milsim weapon added with the ronin operator as well as the pistol and this again is his real life m4 build so very similar to the lvac or the salient arms gray rifle and i'll link the video down below where he goes through and breaks it down and this is really an exact match all the way to the camo. So this is really awesome to see. Everything on this is uh, to spec for the most part. So this is really awesome. I'm going to link that video where he's reviewing his his setup for combat with this rifle. Enemy near Main Street. And then again, we have the Peace and Tranquility blueprint here for the Glock, which again, I believe is, you can see linked on his website, which I'll link there also. So... Now we did cover, this isn't the first time we've seen this blueprint, we saw this, oh whoops, I thought I would survive that for some reason, been playing too much Warzone. But again, we did see this blueprint added uh, in the past, at first it was a, a glitch in the beginning of Season 1 with the XRK, when you put the 14 and a half inch barrel on the XRK, it created this, with the same handguard, and I, we covered that as the LBOAC for the weapon conversion. And then we saw it again with the zip tie blooper, which was available in store. So for those of you that are asking, how do I get the LBOAC? This is how you get it is now you need to either, if you don't have the zip tie bundle, which was available in season, the end of season one, or maybe the beginning of season two, you're gonna need to purchase the Ronin operator bundle here for 2,400 COD points. But in my mind, this is absolutely worth it. This M4 is hands down the one of the best looking weapons in the game. If you ask me, and again, based off of his actual real-world build, which I think is is awesome. So I'll link those videos below where he's reviewing his uh, his setup and other things on his website as well. But the weapon in real life looks just as good as this, if not better. And it's really good to see uh, to spec stuff like this in the game. Oh my god. I think someone's pushing me. Yes, no, guess not. There we go. So let me know what you guys think of this. Again, this kind of goes in along with the Milsim operator bundles that we've seen and what we expect to see. I'm really excited that we they added this M4. This is a great looking M4. Again, we have that standard M4 buttstock from the Task Force blueprint. So this is almost an example of a Frankenstein gun, which we know that feature is going to be coming to the game uh, very soon here at the halfway point, so maybe the next week or two 
we'll be seeing that feature where you can combine different parts from blueprints. And this is basically what that is with a unique camo on there, which is applied to uh, different parts of the weapon as well. Oh my god. I don't know why that bot rushed me so hard. But I love the way this looks. Everything on this is to spec to the real life version that he uses. The only difference is that we have a black uh, tactical light laser versus the uh, the light the flashlight laser combo versus in real life the one that the build that he shows off in some of his videos has the standard tan color that we see on the M4. So I'm not sure if that's uh, specific to this blueprint. I need to go back and look and see if the uh, color of the laser light combo changes with the other blueprints with this barrel on the weapon. See where these guys are. Copy. Jaguar so let's try and get some pistol action here so you can guys can see the Glock build for the peaceful tranquility. Well, that didn't go too well. I ran right into a magnum. <laughs> try it again. But again, let me know what you guys think down below of this build. I didn't really find out specifically what the handguard is he uses in real life. It looks, uh, again, more so similar to the Salen Arms gray rifle, as well as. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, these bots are aggressive today. This is Jaguar 3 Let's reposition. Okay, reload. Whoa, that was close. So you can see the pistol again. Very nice looking pistol. That's your X-16 or your Glock. Let me know what you guys think of this M4 build. Shoot. Oh, crap. I'm dead. Wow, I survived that somehow. Have you purchased this bundle? What kind of weapon blueprints for Mil real Milsim weapon blueprints do you want to see in the future? As well as different Milsim operators. I know we did a poll the other day for Allegiance or coalition type operators. Let me know down below what you guys want to see coming for it. This is, again, hands down my favorite blueprint in the game right now, as well as my favorite bundle. I love the Ronin Operator bundle, the way it looks. This weapon is very versatile and it handles really, really well in Warzone as well. If you just slap on 60 or 50 round mags, depending on the mode you're playing. But let me know down below. Again, this is Buckner Gaming with the LVOAC. As far as the Ronin bundle or the Salient Arms Gray Rifle for the real life operator Tulam. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out.